going to work some examples for finding a, a series. Remember, a series is the sum of a sequence, and it can be a sum of a partial sequence. So, so notice here, I actually have my whole um, my whole sequence written out. Um, it's going up by threes. Um, it starts at five, goes all up to twenty. So I know several pieces of information here. I know what the first term is. I know what the last term is. And I know how many terms there are. I can just count them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six terms here. Um, so this is the sixth term. Last term, first term. So um, I want to talk about this, this Gauss idea for, for summing up um, a sequence. And what you can, what you're doing is you're folding the sequence up on its for on itself. You're taking the first plus the last. So five plus twenty is twenty-five. And as I move in one at a time, I'm gonna keep getting that same amount. And the reason that happens is um, this one increases by three, but this one decreases by three. So they'll also add to twenty-five. So if I just do this, I see that I end up with three groups of twenty-five. So I could go 25 times three. And I wanna think about where um, that information came from. Where did the 25 come from and where did the three come from? Because some, if this was a really super long series, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pair them all up and count them. Um, I would just think about how to, to compute it. So notice uh, the group, the, the amount in the group, that 25, that's the first plus the last. So I know that it, every group is going to be that size. Every full group is going to be that size. And then uh, this three, since I have six three things total, I have six total terms in here, um, and I'm going to fold it up on itself, each term gets a pair. So half of that six gives me three. So I have the, this is how many groups I have. This is the value of each group. So that means if I have three groups of 75, uh, 25, <laughs> I said the answer, this would add to 75. So five plus eight plus 11 plus 14 plus 17 plus 20 is 75. Notice in order to use this uh, technique, I need to know several things. I need to know um, the first term. I need to know the last term. And I need to know how many terms there are. Those three pieces of information, let me use this Gauss. So first, last, number of terms. There'll be some cases where I only have two of those and I need to find the third and then I can do this summing. Um, that's where I think it's starting to feel kind of tricky to people. So let's do two different examples like that. And the first one, I will say, uh, I'm going to start with five and seven and nine. And I'm going to go all the way up to 31. And I want to find the sum of this series. So it might end up being written like five plus seven plus nine plus dot, 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 the ellipsis plus 31. So I know that this pattern keeps going um, and the pattern is plus two each time. So notice the pieces that I have, the pieces that I have. I have the first, um, I have the value of the first. I have the value of the last. But I don't know how many terms are in here. I need to figure out how many terms are in here. So this is how I am going to go about doing that. Um, so I know that the pattern is plus two. Like I can just see that it's plus two. So what I'm wondering about is how far is it all the way from 5 to 31? Just how big of a jump is that? And the way I can figure that out is just some subtraction. 31 minus 5, um, and let's see, 31 minus 5, that is uh, 26. So this whole distance is 26. But I'm going to make that, I'm gonna, I want to go a total of 26 in little jumps of 2. So I need to figure out how many jumps I took. So if I divide the distance by how long a jump is, that will tell me how many jumps I've taken. So from five all the way up to 31, I've taken 13 jumps. 
And if I've taken 13 jumps, notice first term, one jump, second term, two jumps, third term, three jumps, fourth term. Each time I make a jump, my term goes up by one. So if I start at one, I make 13 jumps, that means that I must ha have, uh, I'm just gonna write this so we, it's clear that 13 is how many jumps I take. And if I add one to that, that's how many terms I have. So now I know that this is the 14th term. I have 14 terms. So now I have all the material that I need in order to fold it up. So I'll go back to this idea, the five uh, plus seven plus nine plus dot, 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 plus all the way up to 31, knowing that there are 14 terms. Now I can fold it up. Five plus 31, I'm doing my Gauss now, is 36. I know every group that I make in this way, go in one, go in one, will be of a size 36. And if I had 14 numbers and I folded them all up, 14 numbers will give me seven pairs. So that means I have uh, seven groups of 36, and that will give me my sum. That will tell me what five plus seven plus nine uh, plus all the rest of that is. I'm just grabbing my calculator. So uh, seven times 36, and it looks like that is 252. So we could, uh, so that's one case. That's a case where I knew the first, knew the last, but I had to find the term number, how many terms there are. So another uh, thing that could happen is I could know, um, let's say I'm trying to find the sum of the first 22 terms, and uh, I have uh, three, and then my next term is seven, my next term's 11, that is a terrible seven. Uh, my next term is 11, 15, and it's gonna go out to the 22nd term. So right now, if I think about the information that I know, I know the first, I know how many terms there are, but what I don't know is the value of the last term. So I'm going to work to figure that out now. Um, so to get out to the 22nd term, I would have to make one, two, two jumps gets me to the third term. I would have to make 21 jumps. Right, if I start at one, the first term, and I make 21 jumps, I'll be at the 22nd term. Let's see, how big are my jumps? It looks like this is going up by four each time. So if I start at three and I increase by four 21 times, I'll end up here and I'll know the value of that. So I'm gonna throw that into my calculator, three plus four times 21, 87. So this last term then is 87. So now I know all three pieces of information that I need. I know the first, I'm gonna go plus seven, plus dot, 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 all the way up to 87. I know the first, I know the last. I know there are 22 terms. So now I can do my Gauss, now I can fold it up. So again, I have 22 things here, and I'm gonna fold them up and see how big the group is when I fold it up. So if I fold up first and last, 87 plus three is 90. So every group, if I go back, you know, in one and one, it's gonna be 90. So now the question is, how many of those groups of 90 do I have? Well, if I had 21 things, that, um, that means I would pair them up and they would pair up to 11 groups, right? Just fold up. So then I have um, 11 times 90, which is 990. So that would be the sum of the first 22 terms of that sequence.